Hey, what's up everyone? Lady Bird here and I am in the mood to celebrate. Finally got my French visa. So to celebrate my victory, I wanted to make a video basically listing all of the awesome reasons why you should become a French expat. If you're from the United States like me, and also a number of other countries, you are allowed a total of 90 days in the entirety of the European Union. The European Union is made up of mostly neighboring countries in the continent of Europe. A quick check to know if the country you're going to is within the European Union is to see if that country uses the Euro as their currency. I say the entire European Union. I mean the entire European Union. You can't just go from France to Germany and think you'll be okay to come back to France. Your butt better be out of the European Union or you could get banned for up to five years. Never ever 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 overstay your welcome in one country. I accidentally overstayed my welcome. I had a total of 60 days to stay and I accidentally stayed 88. So without going into too much detail, doing so can lead to the dreaded stamp in your passport. The dreaded stamp is there forever. It lets everyone know who looks at your official documents that you broke the rules. But let's just say I'm lucky that I did so in a country that favors money over strict rules. Just don't do it. Which brings us to the visa. Given a legitimate reason, the country in which you are staying will allow you to stay within its borders past the 90 days. I can be here for an entire year. I don't just mean France. I mean the entire European Union. How cool is that? Which means that I have an entire year to explore and fully immerse myself in the cultures of my choice. There are a number of ways that you can attain a visa. So be sure to subscribe because I will be letting you in on those secrets in a future video. Okay. So why is it freaking awesome to have a visa? What is this fly? What is this fly? A fantastic reason to get your visa is the healthcare in the European Union. Most of my reasons for attaining the visa are pretty cool, but having social security and a public health system is a blessing and a privilege that I have not known anywhere else. It genuinely breaks my heart to think about my friends and my family who don't have this privilege, who live in a Western country that just can't figure it out. Having a visa gives me access to basic human necessity that is healthcare. For me, that is absolutely priceless. Another reason that I think it's friggin' awesome to have my visa is that in most Muth? Muth? Is that in most cases, once you get your visa for the first time, you can reapply for a second visa in the country. You don't have to pay for airfare. After a little paper shuffling, you can be in the European Union for an additional year. A fun reason why I love having my visa is because it gets me into places for free. For free. Have you ever gone into Paris and wanted to see Le Louvre, the Tour Eiffel, the Musée d'Orsay? But when you get there, you look at the price and you say, this is ridiculous because it's ridiculous. Here's a little secret. If you have your visa, you can get into these places for free. Yep, for free. Zilch, nada. They look at your passport, they see your visa, and they let you in for free. Another reason I love having my visa is that I can work here. Be sure to do your research though because the right to work is not available with every type of visa. And last but not least, but another reason that is extremely dear to my heart is that I can finally be with the person I love. My partner and I will soon be celebrating three Three years together. Of those three years, we actually spent about a year and a half apart. I don't know if you've ever been in a long distance relationship, but it is as difficult as they portray. Or if you have been in a long distance relationship, you know that it's even more difficult. Distance makes you grow stronger. However, that is not always the case. I consider us lucky to have been able to work through the distance, actually become stronger together even though we were separated by thousands of miles. Now that I have my visa, we can be together longer than just three months at a time, which I know will be a whole new adventure. Do you have a long distance love story? If so, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And I would love to be there for you in any way that I can, whether it's just giving you the comment space to type out your feelings, or if you want to contact me directly, I'm here for you. Because above all else, I believe in love. All right, so are you considering getting your visa? Are you? Are you? I think I gave you some pretty good reasons why you should. As always, thank you so much for watching. Before we get out of here, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe because I have a lot of advice to give and a lot of experience doing this. So check back every Thursday for more tried and true tips and adventures from my stories living on a wing 
and a prayer.